Hey guys, welcome back. Remember I told y'all there was gonna be 300% productivity. So the last video you saw, I up, well, I edited it like two weeks ago and it's been sitting on my laptop and I haven't had time to just upload it to YouTube because um, I still need to make a thumbnail. Well, I still needed to make a thumbnail for it. So here we are in the garage. Give you a little bit of garage update. Uh, as you can see, we got the new edge and the hippo sitting beside each other. I'm gonna do that, talk about that in another update video. But uh, still got some furniture sitting over here that I'm probably gonna get, what well, I am gonna get rid of this weekend to open up some more room in here. I got a TV, 70 inch TV mounted on the wall. I used to have it in my living room, but my uncle-in-law bought us an 85 inch uh, OLED TV from Samsung for a housewoman present. So me and my buddy Vic, uh, we got that put up uh, about a week ago. And uh, we got some new couches and shit in there. Um, I brought that table that I had from the outside of the carport at the old house uh, in here. And well, I had it over here at one point and then I moved it to over here. Uh, we got the engine stand, well, <laughs> engine stand, engine horns. We got some storage shit right there. Got some storage stuff up there. I have my Xbox in this drawer and some stuff that I got, well, right here for the Hippo and the old motor that came out of the new edge. So the new edge is on its third motor since I've owned it. Um, the last motor y'all can, well, the last swap from the last video was that motor. And what happened with that motor was uh, the flex plate that was on the car, which is right there was bent and it also damaged the torque converter. So in this video, we're gonna be changing the torque converter because after I change uh, the flex plate, I put a TCI uh, billet flex plate on there. Some of the vibration went away, but there's still a uh, revving vibration in there. And if you jack the car up before, you'll see the flex plate moving. Now the flex plate not moving, the torque converter is moving and it'll knock it's starting to knock the torque converter bolts out. So I uh, hit up my buddy, Jason Wicker. Uh, he's got Wicked Performance up in Raleigh. I drove up, there, drove up there earlier today and I picked up this converter, same style street strip converter that's in this car, but uh, this one uh, looks 10 times better than the one that's in there. Almost identical to the one that John just took out of uh, Hank. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and jack the car up. Um, I don't have the key to it, so I can't. I left it in a damn XB at the shop, so I have to go and get the key tomorrow. But I'm gonna swap the converter out tonight, get that taken care of, and then uh, I'm going to do two more things to the car, which will be in another video. And then uh, we're gonna go test drive it. So I'm trying to get the car ready for the cars and coffee that we're having at the shop. And. Um, another event that they're having at Fayetteville on the 27th. It's a uh, no prep event. So that's why I have slicks on the car. I was supposed to dig race my buddy Danny on the street, but at the same time, that's when I found out that uh, the torque converter was the main issue of why this motor failed. It really didn't fail and not like 10 PSI oil pressure out of the car. It still idled at like 25 or 29 PSI and it drove at like 40. And when you got on it, it will build oil pressure, but it wasn't building oil pressure to where it was before uh, I realized that the oil pressure was being knocked out. So the motor that's in the car right now is the motor that came out of the Hippo. Um, so it's the same identical setup, except for that was in here when we had the 400 in here, except for we have an 80 on it now, a T6. Um, I also have another update video that I'm going to be doing on this car. It's going to be some sad news, but some good news at the same time. So I uh, hope y'all are excited. Some people are going to be disappointed. Some people are going to be excited for it, but it's going to be the right move in the right direction. So I'm going to go ahead and jack this thing up. Um, get it on jack stands. I got two more jack stands. And then uh, we're going to pull the drive shaft out and then pull the get the trans on a jack and then pull the trans back uh take the converter out and uh swap the converter out for that one that's on the floor all right guys we got the uh converter in last night and um i found 
try to find them. The keys. They were here the entire time. I thought I left them at the shop. That's the old converter right here. Not sure what the hell is going on with it. But uh, I almost thought I put the old converter <laughs> back in the car. I'm tired as hell. I got done with this thing in about three hours. Uh, it's a bitch working on it on the floor. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just start it and uh, see if that vibration that it was making is gone because it doesn't want to be rev it. And if it's still there, then I don't know. It's going to have to be a trans issue after that then, I guess. I don't know. I did unplug the battery. Should start on the first try. This car hates being lifted and opening the door. Blech. Got that uh, highly seven inch dash in here.
all right so the vibration is pretty much 90 percent gone um the car feels really good it needs some more boost this bitch is weak it's only on like 10 pounds but i need to be like 10 pounds for like a second and a half on the street and then ramp in the rest of the boost so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put a electronic uh not electronic but like a three port four port uh boost controller on it and uh see if we can get this thing to move out up top it gets out of the hole a little bit and then it just starts to not tire off once it you know build boost and the converter locks up so um i guess i might as well talk about it make this video a little bit longer but uh i got the front bumper painted i don't know if y'all noticed when i first got the car but the front bumper was not painted so later on today i am gonna put this on my buddy shane cashman painted it for me super cool dude uh got it done for me in a day and uh you know we got the vis carbon fiber hood here i have hood pins for it because i cannot get the part that clasps onto well let's call a hood latch or a hood latch catch or some shit like that um i couldn't uh get that from the dealership i have to buy a hood and they discontinued the hood so the only thing i could do was go to the junkyard and buy a hood to get the latch so i'm not gonna spend hood pins are cheaper than that and i got the little pop one so it's not like it's uh it's not like um, I'm doing the, the fucking actual pin things. Um, so, I mean, once you guys see them, they're like arrow latches, but they're cheaper and they work. Um, they're heavy duty. Um, I have to go to the shop later on to drop some keys off. And I'm going to pick up the latches because I forgot them there. I was going to do all this stuff last night. But since I left the latches there, and all we wanted to do was get the converter done. So, I'm going to go to the shop, get all that shit, come back. And then we're going to... Um, Put the front bumper and the latches on and then uh that'll wrap this video up yes fucking sir got this thing all cleaned up washed up got the front bumper on got the hood on the hood pins aren't on i have it temporarily mounted right now um just a way that it won't fly up I already took it on a drive converter's good everything's good um i'm so happy with the way the bumper came out my buddy shane did a amazing job on getting the color right and the hue right everything and the fitment is great on it and uh yeah so now um last thing i have to do now is uh like i said put the boost controller on it and the hood pins and then uh we'll be good to go um as always, comment, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next upload. I'll probably be doing a video tomorrow on bringing the car to the Cars and Coffee at the shop. And if I don't do anything, uh, the next video will the next video is probably going to be something on the Hippo. If not, it's going to be at the Cars and Coffee at the shop tomorrow. Uh, so stay tuned. As, like I said before, comment, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next upload.